Okay, so let's talk a little bit about articulations and how they work in the Play Engine. I'm going to open up Play in Logic, go to the browser, and choose something that I know will have articulations. In this case, I'll open Silk, choose India, and I see that there are a couple of different categories that I can choose. So I'll choose the Diruba KS Master. When I load the instrument, the white keys are going to denote what's available to play. This is the range of the instrument. And these blue keys down below are giving us the articulation. Now, many times when we think of articulations, we think of orchestral string instruments and, you know, the different types of ways that we can play those string instruments. Spiccato, pizzicato, legato, and all of that sort of thing. But articulations, the way that they are used in the play engine is for all kinds of different ways that you can play any kind of instrument. So in this case, I can switch between different ways of playing the string instrument. By selecting those keys down in the lower end of the keyboard. Now some people like to do this live, so while they're playing they'll be switching in real time but many people will choose to write the line that they want to play first and then use the key switching to be able to properly change articulations in the middle of the performance. So I'm going to try the latter because I think that that's kind of a, a more deliberate way to do things. All right, so in this case, our instrument's articulation range is going to start at C0. So I open up the piano roll, give myself some room, and I can start changing articulations midstream. Now the articulation needs to happen, if you do it in the middle of a note, it's not going to really do much for you. This initial note is going to set up our initial articulation. Then after that, I'm going to just have it go from articulation to articulation. So there's that. Create another one here. So you want the articulation to come ever so slightly before the note. Let's see. So I've got, this is going to start, this will be the next articulation, this will be the next articulation, and so on and so forth. I can do so in the middle of the performance, confidently knowing that it's not going to actually play a note. It's just going to go through the articulations, and you can see that the articulations are being chosen. If I look over to the right, I can see in blue that sure enough, I'm changing articulations. <laughs> so it got a little crazy there towards the end. But as you see, key switching is kind of a neat way that you can get all of this expressiveness out of the instrument that you wouldn't normally have if you just had a legato setting and just played the line all the way through. If you get really clever with these key switches and get very familiar with the way they are in each of the individual instruments, the instrument's going to sound more realistic. It's going to sound more like a real player. So it pays to take the time to sit down and listen to the key switching and hear where that happens. Now, if we don't use key switching, we may want to use the mod wheel. In the Play Engine, the mod wheel is your friend. So let's check out some instances where we use mod wheel.